only would hold. But no, that's not how it works. Hey, I'm learning today. Today's a mess already. Uh, just the phone. Can you just. Yeah. Just do that for a while. Thank you. Well. Excuse me, time. Get my way up. Okay, Pepper. I'm just gonna do some cleaning. So you don't get to eat my wigs. I mean, I know I don't sleep correctly, but everything keeps falling every fucking time. It's annoying. Like, I just want to take a break. This bullshit. <sighs> okay, let me just put this. Sorry, Pepper, for making noise. I'm just... You guys wake me up at 5 and sometimes 4.50 a.m. And then you look at me through the cage. Like, come on, free me. It's time. When I know it's not. Because it does. Because when it's time... <laughs> I have the alarm. <laughs> well, Nico is hiding in the other spot under the bunk. But that's okay. We're still gonna have a nice live stream. Because we didn't have one the previous week. Oh, you. <gasps> Pepper. Well, I mean, not that it's your choice. Well, I mean, not. Jesus Christ, that's not what I meant. Ah, uh, even my head. Like these days. It's just hard to process everything. I don't I mean it has to be sleep wise because I have been drinking water and eating food which you know it's like the basic things to do but sleep my sleep has really been affected so just give me one minute what temperature it is uh, 25 I should change my shirt, but here's the thing, I don't know if I want to, and the only reason is, I mean that's a, first of all, that's a clean shirt, and second of all, the one that would fit with my makeup right now is totally not what I am. You know, in the mood for. Also, it's kind of hot, so I'm not gonna 
do that. Well, we can see the bottom of pepper, which is good. Okay, so last week I wasn't there. Um, a lot of stuff happened, including like a huge cleaning of um, personal belongings that was very old. I mean, very old. It was back from the... I can't even say a fucking sentence without messing up. It was my mom's stuff. We have uh, some pictures, um, whole sets of pictures from the 90s when I was young uh, and early 2000s and it's great but like I had to go through papers and books and all that also I should uh, show you my new books because I've been putting that off do I bring my pants or not? It's a stupid questions question, but I've already got like one pair of leggings, but I also want something that has pockets. I don't know if I'm going to bring my pair of pants, but at the same time, we're going to be in the woods. So I got this weekend planned and um, I think I'm just going to put the pants in there and just forget about him because we don't know what the weather will be like but yeah so we have like i have new books that my mom was gonna throw away and because there, there seems to be like water damage and the books are quite old i didn't think that anyone would want them um we got other books like i classify them technically so I got new books, other from the one that I actually bought from um, Renaud Brie, which is a great shop, by the way. But I've noticed that their selection of English books is not... <sighs> it's getting smaller. Because you have the classics, like H.P. Lovecraft. You have, you know, Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, you know, you have all these big names and all of their, like, work in one book, which is great. But then after that, you have, like, some random other books that I'm just not interested in. But I found the one that I wanted, which I will bring this weekend. The only thing that I'm scared of, to be honest, is that I will fly. I will take a plane for the first time in my life. Now, don't mind Pepper being at the back and kind of ignoring me because I'm trying to do stuff at the same time. Um, but essentially, what I'm mostly like scared of is the TSA agents taking stuff away from me like i've put um my liquids and what is considered probably gels or creams in one bag but if it's over like three ounces they may just chug some of them and it's just <sighs> i don't even want to bring my makeup because i'm scared that you know they'll just be like hey this thing is considered a liquid but you you're over the limit and it's just let's chug this 18 bucks plumper into the trash can and it would just break my heart because you know it's 18 bucks for a product that really fucking works but um yeah i mean that and the plane going down because I have a fear of planes, but, oh god, the neighbors are yelling from a, but yeah, um, that's 
pretty much it. Like, I'm mostly scared of like TSA agents taking stuff from me and me fucking panicking because I've never had that happen. Also, like I said, it's my first time in a airport. Like, going through everything. Also, since it's, um, the plane and the destination that we take is in Canada and stays in Canada, I don't need my, you know, passport. However, I do need an, <laughs> um, a card with, you know, I did, I did, identification. I can't say anything. Um, and a picture, so they know that it's me. And to be honest, I sent the papers a few weeks ago and it still hasn't come back. I don't have like an upgrade saying, hey, this is refused because, you know, the day that you decided to go to the drugstore, it's just, it was so humid that we can have like, Okay, so in the picture, there's a reflection, technically, because my skin is moist. It's... It was so humid, and... God, I hated that day. But I thought, hey, you know, I paid like 30 bucks for this, I hope that it works, and the dude was like... I think it's good, so yeah. But it's just this fear that nothing will go right is still a problem for me which may sound stupid but yeah that's pretty much what it is i thought we would have a nice a nice afternoon of like bunny watching and cleaning because now some stuff is a mess we've done a huge huge cleaning downstairs like the locker is completely like we know what's in every one of those boxes which is amazing but at the same time like i got some new stuff um in my room which takes place and even if i were to put them in the library The library that we do, do have um, is full already. Like, I don't know how it's holding up because there's so many books in there. But yeah, um, I had to go through like, not the divorce paper, but I had to go through like uh, payments and, uh, you know, like, checking papers where they it's like these little checks but at the same time it's saying like anyways there were like stamps that you usually put in a book i can't fucking describe anything jesus i'm getting annoyed with myself and it's been happening since last week i just I didn't think that it would be like a good time to stream and all that, but at the same time, I don't know, I guess I just needed to have given to the Hufaha. Okay, well, I can't. Oh shit, those are the first pages. RH, the 10. Okay, so I guess it's the month, day, and year. So 10, 28, 77. That is an old book. But I guess it's older than that because of the way it is. Like, yeah, I've got some new books that are very interesting to me. Oh, hey, Pepper. But yeah, the cleaning just had... Uh, from papers from our like early schools to like papers for uh, registration for kindergarten or kindergarten stuff it, it was just like wow that's that used to be me as a small child also we found pictures so like I said with those papers were pictures 
and even some like hand um, written notes by my aunt to my mom dated from like 1998 which was like a year after um you know i was born so there's some stuff that i'm like wow you know my aunt wanted to be a lawyer <laughs> and i know that today she's never done none of that <laughs> but at least like she got some She has some fun stuff. Also, the way that, like, teenage girls were writing, uh, then, it's pretty much the fucking same. The letters, the, the way they're, like, round and, like, very clear, it's just, it's the same shit. Which I'm happy to see. And I even found some old, uh, Canada Post magazine it was like to tell you how to change your address when you move kind of funny the illustrations were funny very like stuck in this one era because advertising today wouldn't do uh this type of art we go for more um real pictures <laughs> than a uh, cute like old-timey animation type um but it's still like it was fun to see i i even found a few pages that had uh sears um written on it and they were selling some i think they were dvds but they may not have been <laughs> oh it was so fucking weird to see all that because It's, it's like magazines that are stuck in time, which is fun, because you can see how it was before, even then. But like 20 years later, we don't use those anymore. So I find it's like very cool. But yeah, there's not much. Else that really happened. Uh, I had some good news, some bad news. Um, because of my hormone patch, uh, I've had very emotional problems that I had to deal with. And obviously, like streaming when you're not feeling good is not a way to. It's not a good way to be like to coming on into a platform where almost nobody watches. <laughs> but to come on here and be like I think I don't know, like fake it just doesn't seem like something that I wanted to do at that moment. I mean it still is, because let's be honest. Okay. We're gonna turn it like this. Cause Pepper, ah, cause Pepper's here. Yeah. Also, Pepper has changed. Like we can see in her face, she doesn't have the W anymore. She's like, her fur is like it's soft, but it's not rough. I don't know how to describe it because it is uh, not baby like feather like fur that you know she has her paws are beginning to be like this her face uh her back and uh i mean her belly i haven't really seen any change but her back paws definitely i'm waiting for the little tail because that's gonna be cute um nico's a little bit slower though because, you know, his face, all, uh, you know, has already started changing, his paws and all that. But his back is really, really soft still. So, I'm still checking that out. But they're doing fine. I've got, you know, new pellets for them. Oh, by the way, I have to do a... Kind of like a warning video. 
because some of the food that I showed in my last live stream um, turns out it's not good well technically they do love the pellets but um, the food um, contains corn dried corn seeds and dried peas which uh, rabbits aren't supposed to have which i'm very sad to um to see that it you know it was clearly advertised for dwarf rabbits even though i was is not dwarf but rabbits shouldn't have these it's really not recommended so i have to get the food in a bowl and pick out the hay, the pellets, um, the papaya pieces, which there, there was a few, which is why when you open the bag, it actually smells fruity. It smells sugary. So no wonder they got addicted <laughs> to the food, but um, I changed it for something more um, uh, reasonable. The only thing uh, the only thing that could be considered a problem is that there are flowers in there uh, but usually dried flowers are okay but it, again it depends which dried flowers however this one is all the stuff that he can eat so I'm actually very glad of uh, I'll have to <laughs> uh, check because technically they love it but when I switched to that one I could tell right away there was something uh, the pellets are paler than they are uh, supposed to be which makes their poop a very pale color which worried me until I was like oh it's the food and like it, it's the food don't worry about it um I think I'll change the camera but Mimi is on the bed the camera's uh, side. Uh, yeah. I mean, my cleaning is gonna go slow anyway. I was supposed to sleep. Oh, Pepper's doing fine. Okay, so I'm a mess. I tried a makeup look with my blue eyeliner. But here's the thing, that blue eyeliner is a pain in the ass to remove. And I bought it at Sephora thinking like, hey, this blue is exactly the color that I need to make certain look. It looks good. But my god, the, you can't like mix it like a lot of eyeliner that I've had and it doesn't get um removed easily either this is a kiss proof um <sighs> lipstick a uh, liquid lipstick uh but i don't remember the company so i mean i could check technically oh it's from a london <laughs> never mind <laughs> I thought it was like, so this is the one that I choose. Um, I thought that the color looked good, and it does. However, it's paler than I expected. Because I wanted to um, have a, this more like brown or like darker mauve uh, shade. But, turns out, Jesus, what the uh, turns out it just uh, wasn't my day um, but I you know like I don't ask for refunds because I'm <laughs> I'm not that type of person I'll just ensure the bad choice that I made but yeah just making sure that they're like isn't anything oh yeah my teeth are like more yellow than before which like i've been trying to fix but 
Like, I know it's a mix of coffee and tea that I drink so much that it's like staining my teeth. I've, I started drinking tea uh, a long time ago, but I think it's also me not caring as much as I should about my teeth. Now, however, I restarted caring way more in the last years uh, and this week I've been wearing my retainer again which does a difference because this one is not like so behind on uh, behind the other one when I bite down I don't feel other teeth so also it's because I saw a few TikToks of a uh, dad braces guy I think um, which a few of them talked about retainers and braces, which I did have in the past. Um, so it's just encouraged me to wear my retainer because, you know, he said that uh, your teeth move and not only they do that all the time, which is why you have to wear your retainer, but the way your bite is it also moves so it could give a um problem to not only your upper teeth but your your lower uh set so i kind of panicked and i was like oh yeah i'm, I'm wearing my <laughs> retainer again but it's just like little things like this that makes me like panic and I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I need to do this. Yeah, I can't just put it back to, oh, tomorrow, oh, tomorrow. Yeah, no. Um, oh, Nico came out. Yeah. I've been trying to feed the rabbits more hay. Because once they hit, like, over six months, they shouldn't have um, pellets. Well, they should have a very, very reduced diet of pellets. So it should be hay, and actually, like, you can introduce uh, fresh vegetables, which I already have a list of what they can eat and um, what they shouldn't eat. Um, like, in parentheses, I put uh, not too many, because, like, it's too uh, too sugary, like fruits. Because, oh my fucking god. I, you know, I learned my lesson with the dried apple bits. I really did. Because having them wake up at 3 in the morning being like, Hey, we have energy. You gave us way too many. <laughs> Uh, I should close my notifications, but that's kind of late since I can't, um, I'm on my phone. So, yeah. Um, other than that... Cool. <laughs> it's okay, he doesn't know that I'm streaming, but, uh, yeah. I'm waiting for him to write another time because I'm not answering or something like that. Okay. Um, I just, it's been a while since I put on makeup, so I wanted to just go at it. And the only eyeliner that I have right now is the blue one. And I remembered why I didn't like it, and it's because this son of a bitch is gonna be... Oh, it's gonna take forever to, um, to remove correctly. Now, what I've also been doing for my mental health is going on long walks, which was fine until one evening where I almost got hit by a, uh, a van, and I wish there were cameras at the intersection that I was in because I was waiting for the pedestrian crossing, and... Out of nowhere, we're like, me and my brother were almost done, like, in the middle. And this van come out of nowhere. I mean, it, it's a, like, a road that's like this to, um, 
get to where we are. So he took that. It's off the highway. He should have slowed down, but he didn't. And when we saw him, uh, his tire, uh, front tires, uh, screeched. And my brother was like, oh yeah, well, we need to move. Except he didn't tell me that. So I ran after him. And that's when I noticed that the guy, as soon as his tire screeched, he pressed on the fucking gas. He passed. Well, when we still had seven seconds left and every single light was red. It was our turn and he almost fucking hit us. I mean, my brother would have survived, but I would have fucking been gone. And I'm pissed. I'm pissed because if it was a genuine mistake, he would have stopped. But he never fucking did. He just went even faster after the freaking lights. It's like, dude, slow down. You're, you're in a residential area now. I just... My mind is just going crazy about this because obviously someone that was slower than us or like maybe a kid or something that is up late or a teenager probably wouldn't have um the same reflex i guess oh shit yeah i did uh, say well hey um i can show you the bunnies um they're right here taking a not so good nap but yeah, they've kind of changed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you in here. But, uh, yeah, I'm still kind of pissed about almost being hit by a truck. Uh, that was earlier this week. But otherwise, like, I keep going on walks, which is great. Because... Oh, nice. Let's go, man. The hell of fluff. Yeah, I almost got hit by a, um, a van, which is um, not nice because it was uh, the pedestrian crossing. Everything was red, then you just press on the gas. <laughs> it, it was not fun. So, I mean, since that, I just don't want to go back to that place. I mean, it's beautiful. There's like waterfalls uh, after the crossing. You get huge waterfalls. You get a huge like field. And it there's woods. Y you can walk here. It's beautiful. For real. But the crossing is not really safe. <laughs> Which isn't really fun. <laughs> but, um... I'm looking for a new, like, spot on where to walk because, obviously, I don't want to get hit um, or mugged. I just want to be in a, you know, in a place where I'm safe and I can, like, walk, run, you know, a little bit of jogging to get my cardio going, which would help. Um, I've lost five pounds, actually. Uh, since the start of the month, I guess. I've been really going on long walks. Um, so I'm burning more than I'm taking in. Which is fantastic. I can already see a difference. Maybe not in my face, but like... In the way I walk, in the way I feel. It just, it feels better, but, yeah. Aww. Oh shit, did I change the water? The answer is no, I did not change the water. <laughs> but it's halfway, so I'm good. Um, yeah. Other than the big cleaning, oh yeah, um, well I mean I've kind of shown it, but... We got a new cage for the bunnies. So this one is bigger than the one that we've had before. So the bunnies have 
enough space to lay down, even fully lay down, which sometimes they do, one over the other because rabbits are weird. They have enough space for the tiny corner one. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, if they could bathe in the pool, then yeah. But um, we can't do that. <laughs> They, they go into shock, actually, if you uh, try to bathe them with water. But maybe... You know, like, one of those uh, ball pits? Pool? I think they will love it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the rock walls. It, it really sucks, but they are super clean and they don't smell like anything. Rabbits don't smell like anything. Steam bath? I don't know about that one. I mean, I haven't googled the steam bath. <laughs> you can, however, like spritz them with water uh, if they're too hot and just let them do. But, um... <laughs> uh... Hey, Nico. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna check. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, there's uh, the Binding of Isaac icons. I kind of hate that game, but that's because of a the one person who made me discover the game. However, it still kind of looks cool. Some of my friends still uh, play that game a lot. Okay. So, yeah. Otherwise, the bunnies, like, have a good place. Oh my god. Just getting the cage into the car, we had to remove the top of the cage, shove the, the bottom of the cage into the car, which it would barely fit, and then put the top of the cage another way, so it, you know, it's, like, over. And then I had to hold the balcony and the bowl and the tiny bottle. And, uh... It's big. It was big. I actually needed help to get it up uh, the stairs. Um, but they have more space to walk around. They have more space to lay down. There's a grip at the bottom. It's not a kind of like grill. So it doesn't hurt their paws. It's just like a textured bottom at the cage. So they're perfectly fine. <laughs> they don't slip anymore at the bottom of the cage. They don't have any problem problems like that. The only thing is they still bite um, the front of the cage to get me to let them out uh, in the morning. So it wouldn't be a problem if it was like at 7 when, when the schedule actually starts, but they start at like 4.50 or 5.50 a.m sometimes and i just have to be like okay i'll give you pellets even though it's really early but i'll do it um pepper is still mis mischievous as ever she still pulls off the um the litter box to just you know toss it around and then have more space to just lay down and i'm like Okay, maybe it's just like the cats, because, I mean, I have one here. Oh, Blackie left. Okay, well, <laughs> um, Blackie and Mimi really comes in front of the cage, and I sometimes try to reach out, which I've been giving them like little, like this to get them to stop, and I think... That, you know, the bunnies, if it's too hot, they don't want to be in front of the cage. They'd rather be off. And even sometimes when there's just too much light in my room, even, you know, with the curtains and all that, they go under the balcony. And, by the way, they can fit both of them under the balcony. So, they can also fit on the balcony, both of them, except they try to push each other off. Because if the other is off the balcony, then that means more pellet for the other. You know, 
they really are food driven. I can tell you that because Jesus, I've been trying to like get get them to um, you know, come to see me more often, even though they do. Um, they when I have pellets, like nothing comes between me and them. My legs, there's just they're just obstacles. I have so many scratches from their little nails, which I do have to cut, uh, well, trim, um, but I'm not comfortable with uh, yet. So I'm still on the lookout on like what way I can make, you know, turn them into a burrito and have, uh, you know, time to clip them. But yeah, I have so many scratches on my legs that are just from the bunnies trying to jump on me while I get them either treats or pellets. But they don't hurt as much. So for me, it's just a way of, you know, them trying to get to me. It's just I'm so tall compared to them. And yeah but also i've been thinking about the rabbit that i saw ever since uh, last time i went to the pet shop i know like you shouldn't buy pets you should adopt but the cuteness of those bunnies and even last time they had like two one-year-old uh bunnies one was named nuage and the other one reglis funny names but they're like full size and they all have their vaccines and all that but I just thought Jesus Christ I want to take them in but I don't have pay space and that's something that kind of sucks let's be honest because you know I, I think that every animal deserves love even though you shouldn't shop those animals they don't deserve you know to live in this um window like bubble and seeing people just pass by and not you know get them to take care of them essentially um oh now peppers is laying down on the balcony there isn't much wind today it's really hot it's not um a temperature that I would call, you know, really chill. I mean, it's 25. It's just, it's supposed to be 27 outside. And I'm just like, it's hot. <laughs> but it's supposed to be worse uh, next week and this weekend. So I'm kind of scared just because, like, I know I don't do well with hot weather. Also, I'm... Okay, for my weekend, I'm going to go paddle boarding, uh, kayaking, probably hiking too, knowing my dad, um, and like do some camping activities, which is like, uh, I guess, roasting marshmallows. We're supposed to have a fire camp, uh, essentially. And uh, the only thing is, I don't do well in the sun. Uh, recently I've gone, you know, outside, I've put on a crop top, which I wasn't comfortable with wearing previously because of how big I was. I didn't think I was, you know, attractive, but now, I mean, we can even see it in my shoulder with my shirt. It's not that bad. And when it comes to like showing more of my body, it's not something that I see as beautiful i guess it's just i'm not comfortable with my body in general so to have you know high-waisted shorts and they, they are not they're not very long so like, i'm worried of people or perverts uh judging me or just i look like hey she's too fat for that outfit when when i looked at me I look good. My shirt is actually too loose on me because it's a large. 
you know? Before it wasn't even fitting me. But now it... It's loose. Very loose. Um, my shorts fit perfectly. It's just they haven't been stretched out so much. And also, I get two pair of shorts that uh, my older, younger sister, <laughs> uh, stepsister, um, is giving me. Technically, I pay for them. Uh, I pay 50. If she paid 40 for both of them at Garage, I think, which is a cool store, but every time I go there, I'm like, this is for skinny girls. This is not for me. Because <laughs> um, of like the high waisted shorts, um, my tummy. And, you know, my hips, my hips are still very fucking fat, don't, it's awful, uh, but it, it's improved. Um, it, it's just, I don't see myself in high-waisted jeans because of how it would look on me. My tummy would just, you know, show up more. Um, even, like, the dresses that I've got uh, at another store but it's pretty much in the same thing types of store you know very what could be considered slutty outfits um uh, that young teenage girls and older teenage girls uh both wear and it's just like the same outfit copied and paste just in different colors uh it's a very basic bitch outfit um however Apparently their jean quality is very good. Uh, every time I've gone in there, I've just never found something that I feel comfortable in. So I'm just like, yeah, I wouldn't look good in that. Yeah, I wouldn't look good in this either. Why am I in this store? <laughs> you know? And it's just... It was the same the previous week when I went to Forever 21, which is back at Laurier which I'm very glad of. But oh my god, the dresses that I've bought, they look amazing. When I put them on, oh my god, I want to strangle myself. Not in a good way. I just, ah, oh, I feel so bad. Because I'm like, it looked good on the model. I'm not a model. Why did I chose that? Um... These are the uh, early type of summer dresses of uh, the 2000s. It's a very Y2K style. It kind of looks like lingerie. But you put a, like, a shirt underneath and you just like tucked it and it just it looks better. Or you can wear it with like a cardigan over it. Um, Except, usually those dresses have very small cups when it comes to, you know, boobs. And I realized, Jesus Christ, my boobs are bigger. Uh, so I need a different kind of support. Now I've tried with my new bras. It fits perfectly. Except here's this. The cup kind of refused to, uh, well, the fabric... Because one of the dress has like a cutout that is supposed to stick to my skin and or fabric. Um, we can see my bra underneath and at this point I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna wear something over it and just say, shut the fuck up. My brain, I just don't need that right now. This is just how I'm gonna wear it. With a fucking t-shirt, cropped up t-shirt underneath and that's the end of it. Because... I've tried so many of my bras with these dresses and it was one hell of a battle. I ended up fucking crying myself because none of them would fit me. Um, two of them fit me very well. Uh, you know, stomach and body wise, it really does fit well. It's more about the cup size of, you know, the dress because in the end 
Like, that's the most important one. But, like, I feel like it doesn't matter if it's a small, medium, or large. They don't take into action uh, consideration that maybe, like, different bodies wouldn't fit with that outfit or with that dress. And it's just... That's one of the stuff that really annoys me. I mean, it's a very specific type of dress, which I've been wanting to really get into because of the style and all that aesthetic shit, I guess. It's a style that I see often on AliExpress, which is a place that I love to shop at. It's just the dresses usually don't fit me or I'm just too scared to buy them because I think, hey, this is Asian size. So it's very small. Um, but like, ever since a few months ago, I'm more into medium than large. I feel like it's either a hit or miss when it comes to sizes. So yeah, but I, I avoided buying new clothing until my dad was like, hey, here's $200, buy some stuff. And I'm like, okay. Um, so I got three dresses and a swimsuit, which I very much love and will use. It's an Adidas one and it's from a collection that they didn't have on the app anymore. Um, I'm going to wear it with shorts because it shows way too much of a, a certain private zone that I obviously don't want my family to see. Um, however, the style is very athletic and it's my first swimsuit in years because when I was bigger, let's just say the last thing you think of when you want to do an activity is not going to be swimming because people are either going to be watching you or, you know, you're scared of getting mocked. And the last dress... It shows my stomach. So it's like another dress from Forever 21 that I have bought, which uh, waist wise, you know, well, technically it's everything from my boobs to my torso. I'm okay. Up to my waist, I'm okay. It's under my waist that is just fucked up and ruins everything. So I think it's really more like what I need to, um, to work on for me um but yeah i mean the pattern is very beautiful it's a soft pink with um daisies patterned on it there was also a soft blue with those daisies on it um i kind of like a lot of the styles that forever 21 have i just i'm not confident enough and sometimes the way the model has, you know, the style, I'm like, hell yeah, that's something I would wear. And then I wear it, I'm like, I feel like shit. Yeah, it's just, it's not comfortable. It's just, it's one of those things, I guess. Um, I will work on myself even more. Um, but, you know, the boob thing of the dress, it's really a bummer. But at the same time, if I wear a sports bra underneath that has, you know, cups that actually holds the boobs very well, then I'll be okay. You know, I just need to wear a shirt over it and then the fabric won't fucking go up or make me feel like I haven't done enough. Which, you know, being this harsh on me when I've done so much progress... I should be happy because I'm down five pounds more than last month. Like, I'm fucking happy about this, but at the same time, I'm like, you could do more. You could do more and hit your healthy goal. But since I'm five foot one, my healthy goal is 99 uh, or nine, between 90 and 99 pounds. Which is very skinny. Um, and at this point, I don't... I don't even know if 
first of all, I would be happy. I'm down at 130, which is very good. Um, the problem is a lot of the stuff that I still have is large. My... Um, two of my beautiful felt skirts are large. I should have taken medium. Because now medium skirts at Simon's actually fits me. But for me, it's just... I mean, I could technically put a clip on and, you know, make it not noticeable, I guess. It's just... For me to... I kind of want to go back to small, but at the same time... I would have to replace so many clothing. Otherwise it would look just so big on me and you know big shirts you know big over fucking shirts usually they I use them for pajamas just like my I forgot his name Smokey the Bear shirt I should have taken it into a medium but I didn't know it was a shirt from the US. Ardeen sometimes have deals uh, with companies from the US. A large for them is very fucking large. Like, I could not believe it. Like, even fat fat, I could have fucking taken a medium. And it would have fit me just fine. And it's just... Hmm. Uh... There's also one other time that I ordered from the US, and it was a total fail. It was a shop that I hear a lot about, and it's Hot Topic. And I didn't take into consideration that the US have different sizes in Canada. And my god, the shorts that I had ordered, because I thought I was a 3X, when I wasn't even a... You know, an X large ish. Oh my god. They were falling off of me. I couldn't even keep them on. I ended up giving them to the, the um, Value Village, I think it's called in English. Le Village des Valeurs. It's like the Salvation's Army or, you know, any other uh, organizations that resell, you know, thrift uh, clothing and stuff like that. Um, and I hope that someone found these shorts and were like, oh my god, these are the Harley Quinn, you know, in Birds of Prey, uh, shorts. Of course I need them. I really hope that they made, <laughs> made someone happy because I never, uh, was able to wear them in the end. Uh, I kept the Harley Quinn, like, vest and I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear that. Um, I guess I could if I do a cosplay or a mix of a cosplay of a crazy character or something like that. I don't know. Because if I'm going for like neon stuff, I mean, I already have a um, crop top pink that would go well with um, the top. Well, the transparent vest with the f mm, I don't know how to call them anyways um, it would do well however don't have the shorts or anything else um, I really liked that style it's just also oh yeah I had ordered some other stuff I still have my patch of the mothman I had this obsession with the Mothman for so long. I should actually show one day my drawings because, oh man, it just, I have more than that, more than what I've, um, I got on my wall. Oh, Blackie, you're back. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's mean. Bag of hate. How old are you? I'm 24. Well, 23. I'm going 24 next month. Do I look older? <laughs> it 
Sometimes people take me for someone younger and sometimes older, you know, but, uh, yeah, clothing wise, it's fucking hard to have it online unless you know the company and you know how their clothing is and, you know, what's a like wholesale shipping or whatever. Oh, cool. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Good. Because <laughs> uh, one of my friends said actually, like, I looked older than 23. I'm like, what the? You know, the other time I was at the pet shop and they, the woman was like, you need to be over 18. And I'm like, I'm gonna be 24. <laughs> she didn't believe that I was um, over 18, which, bless her heart. <laughs> Oh yeah, online it's hard to tell. No, I I, I get that. Jesus, uh, the number of times that I've um, you know, just check people out uh, to see maybe their clothing style or stuff like that, makeup and all that. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell if they're uh, just of age or just like the the number that you give them, and turns out like they're way older or way younger, and it's just like oh my god. So yeah, no, I get it. Online, it's very hard to tell. Hey, sweetie. Oh, now you're awake. Oh, Bucky came just to sleep behind me. Okay, I love you too, but no licking. Um, yeah, well, when I come... <gasps> I'm from Canada. It's a good place. <laughs> Depends which province, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Can you... No. What are you doing? Stop licking me. Okay. I know I woke you up. Okay, now I'm gonna push you because you keep licking me. Uh... Well, I'm bilingual, I speak French and English, but apparently when I speak French, I still have an accent. Um, I, so even in English, I do have an accent. So, <laughs> um, people have asked me if I was like from uh, the higher parts of France or just somewhere from Europe. And I'm like, oh God. Uh, depends on which language I'm learning, generally my the way that I will speak uh, changes, but right now it's just French, Canadian, and English. Oh! Oh my god. I mean, it's great! <laughs> Some people... Um, say that, you know, sometimes I don't have an accent, sometimes I do. So, I don't know, I'm nervous. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Then, sorry. Even in, uh, in French, some people are, uh, have difficulties in, um, uh, telling me, uh, or even understanding me sometimes. But then again, I don't understand people with accents either. I mean, depends on how thick, but yeah. Oh! Well, shit! That's great! <laughs> um... Oui, un peu. Mais j'ai la misère. Comme, uh, comme j'explique, j'ai vraiment la misère. So, you know, it's... Yeah, sometimes I just go shopping and... Oh, there was one time that a lady told me that I was good in French. Like... Uh, yeah, I know! <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I'll take... Yeah, sure. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't know why I keep, uh... You know, different accents. I guess it's because I don't communicate with people. <laughs> A lot, so I'm just stuck in my head. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> it's the same reaction I have, too. <laughs> hey, baby. 
Aww. But yeah. I mean, I love learning new languages. Uh, Phil. Hello. Keep up the good work. Keep grinding. Keep dreaming. Keep fighting. Keep believing. I hope you make it and change the world. Thank you, Phil. Really means it. You have an accent while speaking in English, but also while speaking in French. I know! <laughs> That's what's ridiculous about it. And here's the thing. I try to, um, when I speak even in, in French, because it is my first language, um, I try to make it sound more natural, but people just keep like, what's your accent? And I'm just, I, I don't know. Because other than English, I just, I mean, I stopped learning uh, Germans, uh, German, Italian, uh, sometimes because I watch a lot of anime, Japanese, because I still recognize a lot of words and context uh, when they speak, but even then, I stopped learning also Swedish, so... I don't know how these uh, the the accent stays or it just morphs into something else. Hello, Blakey. But even just speaking is difficult for me. Like even if I speak in French or in English, I'll switch to the other one. Um, because I just can't find the right words to describe uh, a sentence. So, I mean, that's most of the reason why I'm streaming uh, each week. It's just to practice speaking. And, you know, if I say something wrong or the, the sentence just doesn't make sense, you know, someone can, you know, correct me. In English, your accent will lead me to believe you're a... European, but in French, your accent tells me you're English. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not the first time I heard that, but like even when I record myself, I can hear it. So, yeah, the European thing, a lot of people have told me that. Even in school, some uh, teachers actually asked me, yeah. Are you from Europe? You know, which uh, of your parent is actually French Canadian uh, and all that. And I'm like, I come from Quebec. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love communicating. But the problem is, I don't know how, I guess. Sometimes the words just escape me. Sometimes it's just, I can't find the right description or yeah, the right word to uh, make a beautiful sentence. Okay, now the cats have switched place. That's good. But I can tell you, I am practicing. <laughs> um, oh, nice. I'm going to Ontario actually this weekend. Well, it's kind of far a bit from Ontario, but uh, oh. I got another cat meowing. Um, yeah, just for a weekend. But uh, I haven't gone to Ontario in a long time. And never in a plane. <laughs> but yes, I'm from Quebec. Um, it's, it's a good place. Because Quebec City has a lot of history. And I really love going there. Like, the crowds are not worth it. But just seeing the old buildings, seeing, you know, these beautiful... Um, I went to Basket Town? I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I guess it's just... If I... I heard it as Basket Town, but I'm pretty sure it's just not how you write it or pronounce it. Um... It's just like, I think a few hours from Ontario or because I know I'm not going close to get to know. Um, I just know that there's going to be a lake 
or a beach. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Oh, I, I wish I could show you, but uh, we see um, Le Chateau Frontenac from uh, here. We also see the beautiful, like, fleuve. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> I don't even know, like, the name itself, but it's just, it's like more like a vacation spot for people. But, uh, yeah. Um, Quebec has a lot of history. I... I when I went to Ontario, I went to see like the Parliament and a few other places. I really love how the buildings look. I would have to check my messages to actually tell you if it's uh, that or another one. Um, I would have to check... Uh, message from my brother yeah oh my god maybe it's that one i don't know much <laughs> yeah i mean it doesn't really matter uh the only thing is i'm gonna have a good time oh nice so is there anything fun in the north of ontario because like i said i don't know much about Ontario. I just went there a couple of times to visit my dad. Kitty one. <gasps> Becky went away. Damn. Yeah. That's good. Ah. Pencil. Oh. <laughs> uh. I don't know what I would describe as fun, to be honest. Um, man. What is fun? I mean, in Quebec City, like, you have, like, cool restaurants. Uh, I mean, cool restaurants. I, I mean, like, they, they're all the... Uh, the words escape me. <laughs> um... You know, they're in these old uh, buildings. Sometimes there's even like, I don't know, a Asian style shop or... Yeah, um... Well, not Quebec City itself. I'm actually from Saint-Agathe-des-Monts, which is... I mean, not that far from uh, Le Mont-Tremblant. But it is just in the middle of nowhere. But... Right now, I I live in Quebec City. But yeah, like, what most people do here, hung fish, boating for wheelings. Oh. Well, that's fun. Because, okay. That's okay if you don't know where um, I'm actually, like, from. It's just a place in the middle of nowhere. It... I actually haven't been there in so many years. Um, but yeah, like, hunting, fishing... I went fishing once. Got quite a few fish. Uh, I mean... Boating and four-wheeling. That sounds like fucking awesome stuff. <laughs> the French was very weird there. I drove through there a few years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the only problem I have with Quebec City is that if you're a tourist and you don't speak French, you might have actually, like, difficulties to order and stuff. Apparently, a lot of people... Um, we're coming there just, you know, try new restaurants and stuff, and, uh, the staff said, <laughs> uh, speak French or otherwise, and it's, yeah, <laughs> it, that's what I find boring, because I'm like, hey, I'm bilingual, if I find a job in Quebec City, I just can yeah, it's very French, oh my god, the number of times I've been told, yeah, very rude, yep, I've been told very... 
mainly to speak French when I'm, you know, with my friends or stuff like that. And I'm like, no, uh, by a French teacher. I was told that. Um, and in the end, I'm like, well, you have so many people from different places. There's a lot of tourists. You want to impose just French? Yeah, I'm not sure that's gonna go the right way, but yeah, no, um, I understand the very rude part. That's one of the things that I don't like about, um, Quebec. They can be rude if you speak another language, and, oh, I hate that. I actually got insulted by a dude that I rejected. He told me... <laughs> Um, that I was an English slut or something like that, and it just made me laugh, but, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, no, that dude was, eh, he was weird. So, just a minute. Ah, because my phone is on its last stand. Yeah, no, it was very just mean um but he was writing to me just to uh, essentially meet up and fuck i'm sorry for my language it's kind of explicit but that's pretty much it and when i said like no i'm not interested well oh yeah no that's not what he did he actually commented on my younger sister uh stepsister which was 15 um you know, stuff that like, hey, it just, it made him look like a pedophile, so I wrote to him and be like, you should not say stuff like that. And he told me to fuck off. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then he proceeded to insult me when I'm like, I'm just warning you because your behavior towards a 15 year old, uh, he was over 25 or 26. Yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> it's like one of those nice guys, huh? But, um, yeah, no, it's just... Oh, and then he told me just, oh, society is fucked up, therefore I have the right to do it. It's just like, no, just because... Uh, he was like this, I've done a lot of drugs, dude, so I know more about you, about society and all that. Oh man, I hated this dude. <laughs> it just was awkward, because like every time he would write to me, he would just try to say some philosophical shit, and I was like, no, that, that doesn't make sense. But uh, yeah, you just say that society's fucked up, therefore he was able, you know, to do it. And I'm like, no, that's a pedophile move. You're just showing to the world, you know. Yeah, and then he told me to get fucked, <laughs> you English slut. And I just laughed because, oh yeah, those pseudo-intellectual dude, they're awful. Oh my god. I, I should have just blocked him. But um, yeah, just stay away from those people. <laughs> And then he wrote to my stepsister, you know, saying that I'm just like, uh, that she's just like me. And actually just, you know, fuck off too. And I'm like, we just called you out on your behavior. <laughs> you know, trying to flirt with a 15 year old when you're like over 25. That's a big no-no. But, uh, yeah. I've encountered, uh... Creepy people, I've encountered just nice people, like, I guess that's what it is, you know, to be online. Sometimes Facebook will, like, uh, boost your profile, so now a lot of dude will see it, and some random dudes wrote to me so many times. And one didn't know about memes, and... Like, I'm someone who passed a lot of time on the internet, so memes are, like, a big thing that I post in conversations and stuff like that, because sometimes it's awkward. 
<laughs> um, I don't have a pool, so I would probably do, you know, tiny ones for kids, but I don't think that anyone would like to see my body that way, to be honest. But, um, ah, I mean, I thought about it, but at the same time, I'm like, am I a sellout? No, not yet. <laughs> I know it would boost me <laughs> in, uh, like, subs and stuff like that, but, um, I guess I'll wait. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it was just, man... The meme thing, I mean, the guy came from, like, a farm, it's very, like, a village type of a place I had visited with, uh, my ex. Um, the dude was nice, but, like, not knowing about memes, it's just, it's a slap in the face, like, oh shit, yeah, some people don't know what memes are. And... I mean, it just hit me, and I'm like, oh, then how the fuck am I supposed to carry a conversation? Because without memes, I don't know what I'm gonna say. Like, if it's awkward and I don't know what to type, I'll just send a meme. <laughs> but, uh, or cursed pictures. Or wholesome ones, but, you know, depending on the vibe that I get from the person. But, oh my god. That dude was just out of nowhere. I mean, it didn't just... Just didn't go uh, well. <laughs> but, uh, Flag... Thanks for being there. It's actually rare that I get, um, viewers or, like, uh, that types. So, I'm actually glad. <laughs> so many of my cats are meowing. Oh, you're there. I'm gonna have to go check later. Becky? Probably found a socks. Or something like that. But, uh, yeah. It's just, goddamn. Uh. But going back to Quebec. Quebec is a very beautiful place. Like, if you love history... Or just looking at uh, buildings from that, uh, a different era. Like, come to Quebec. But you might have difficulty with the people. The people are the problem. Generally speaking, the people are like my number one problem with Quebec. But, um... The experience is really something that I like. Yeah, it, they still have this like village mentality that like everyone that's different, maybe like skin tone wise, yeah, or like language wise, it's just, oh, it's different, they should just not be here. E yeah, oh, yeah, they, <laughs> very arrogant and rude, superior, yep, yep, oh my god, some of them, it's just, oh, it's so bad. And, like, some of the best experience that I've had was in the Starbucks. Because there were, like, English, uh, the English kids just, like, there on a trip. But, uh, they were super nice. And, like, the lady at the counter, like, registered my accent right away and was like, Okay, well, what do you want? You know, and I'm like, oh, it's something fruity. But the conversation carried out very easily. And I feel like if your best experience is in Quebec City is at a Starbucks, there may be something wrong with the city itself. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, like, stranger-wise, because... It's not that I'm scared to go into shops. I'm I'm shy uh, to go into shops. Usually I go with friends. But when I'm alone, I just check the shops from the outside. Because <laughs> I'm just like... I know I'm allowed in. It's just... 
I don't know. It's like this type of, I don't know what I'm looking for. Even if I'm just looking, I'll just feel like I'm not comfortable enough to be in a shop. Um, there is one shop that has swords. They have like real life swords. Uh, they have like um, medieval dresses. They have uh, knights stuff. Like, they even have a huge helmet and it's awesome. Uh, they have replicas from Lord of the Rings uh, swords, different like elven. Um, Oh, shit, I forgot the other one. Um, geez. Anyway, they have, like, even... X. Jesus Christ. I just can't describe very well. But yeah, they have some very cool stuff. Uh, even jewelry-wise. Um, that was a good experience, also, with people of... Quebec. Um, I haven't gone to any bars, to be honest. Um, a few weeks ago, I ordered my first drink at a restaurant. <laughs> I, uh, one of my neighbors, uh, her car is just so bad every time she starts it. <laughs> I know that you can hear it because even in the morning, uh, it, oh, it's awful. But, um, yeah, I ordered my first drink <laughs> at, uh, at a restaurant. Like, I'm 23, I'm gonna go 24, and I just... I, I guess I kind of forget that I can order drinks, but at the same time, it's like... Eh, you know, you can have water, <laughs> too. Um... So going to bars in Quebec is not something that I've done. Uh, there's a few Irish pub. There's a few ones that have like a restaurant side to it. Also, they apparently serve some very cool stuff. Because since I got my phone, I go on Google. Yeah, me too. I mean, I don't... Well, not at all, but I drink like from once in a while very once in a while because i just don't like the taste of it sometimes it's the effect that it has on me i only do I, jesus christ i only drink water and coffee oh i feel that except i drink tea too and um yeah these days it's water and coffee and even that i put some international delight in there because Coffee is a bitter taste to me, but I don't like the um, the taste of it much, so I dilute it. I know it's gross, why even drink coffee, but I don't know. Like, if you put the right stuff in, I'll love it. But, um, yeah, other than that, there's some, like, I mean, just... McDonald's in Quebec City is good. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but like, one thing that McDonald's has done right, it's the um, the little machine. Oh sure, I mean I'm gonna wait for you anyways. <laughs> but uh, yeah, one of the things that McDonald's has done right, the little machines. That you can self-order. Because that sounds ridiculous. But if I don't have to raise my voice. Because my voice is not like loud. Uh, if you're in public with me. You would know. My voice doesn't. It's not loud. It doesn't really. You can't he hear it well. Even when I yell. It it's annoying. Because when you try to communicate with people. Like ordering. At Subway example. At Subway it's bad because they have like this um, window in front of them. Um, but if you try 
when you have not a good voice to to yell and be like hey i want this and that and it's just it doesn't fucking work you're gonna feel embarrassed and ashamed so instead of having to go to the counter and be like okay well i can't see the counter correctly because of you know i forgot my glasses or something like that you can just go to the little machine and be like oh hey i'm gonna select this this and this and then you just wait for it for me it's easier as ridiculous as it sounds it really is easier for me when i think about ordering <laughs> Aww. Pepper is just laying down Nico got off the litter box yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna close that sorry it's been a while since I'm actually live but it's fun it's fun Whoa, Pepper! Oh, no, she's she's having a snack. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna take this. Ah, no! <sighs> okay. Oh well, now it's just the worst. Okay, just don't do anything. I'll drink because it's been a while. I'm gonna go check on the cats. I'll be back. Mama, you stay there. Okay. I'm yowing from earlier. I was just yowing for no reasons. I guess, because. Uh. You, you ever does that? It's just some of the stuff that she does. Mm. What else I do in a city? But yeah, ever since I got my phone, I just check restaurants, um, stuff like wait, restaurants. I guess like hobby places because there's like a coffee shop that you can actually like paint uh, some ceramic stuff uh, I actually do cosplay um... <laughs> no not really um, I don't have the like confidence yet to uh, do those kind of cosplays I wish I had the body for it I'm gonna say that. I wish I had the body for it. Cause... <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I like them. But... Uh, I can't do them. I mean, I'm still like, I'm still chubby. I still, I mean, we can't fucking see it. But like... I still have some fat, and it's just, it's not something, I guess I would do, like, more sexy cosplays, um, if I lose, I guess, another 10 or 20 pounds. Yeah, I don't think that I have the body for it. I mean, because, like, most characters have this athletic... <laughs> <laughs> Most characters have like this athletic uh, body. Um, the answer to your question is kind of flat. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> um, I haven't trained uh, that zone. Uh, well, let's say. Um, but yeah, I, I just really don't think I have the body for like sexy cosplays. 
However, I am starting a vampire uh, vampire to masquerade cosplay soon, and I'm gonna do uh, probably a clothing all uh, on stream. That is risky, my dude. <laughs> a very very risky. Um, <laughs> oh god um i mean first of all my shorts are very like baggy <laughs> uh but i don't want to risk getting banned uh i'm gonna actually re-upload it on youtube for my archiving because um uh I forgot the name. Anyways, uh, I do have a YouTube channel that I archive every single one of my stream. That's why I say that. <laughs> and I've talked about some important stuff during this stream, so it's not like I wanna have my butt exposed to the whole world. But, um... I don't know, maybe in a parallel universe if I actually like start OnlyFans or something like that. I mean, I could, <laughs> but it would still stay on my Twitch. <laughs> that would be a risk if someone actually sees this and like decides to flag it. No horny, you go to horny jail. But, um,. Oh. I mean, I guess, but even then, I'm not sure my boyfriend would like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I'm gonna start doing more cosplays uh, actually pretty soon. Um, since I'm gonna go back to doing vampires, I got my wig out. <laughs> I'm not gonna risk that uh, flag and it's not out of hate or anything it's just um, I don't feel comfortable <laughs> showing my uh, my butt on stream but yeah um, what else cuz like uh, there was my elven cosplay that I wanted to redo better this time it was a goth cosplay because my vampire is I mean pretty pale like you can see from my eyebrows that they don't appear a lot so I don't know because then I would need some um I mean, I guess, but even then, it would still look flat. <laughs> Cause, uh, I don't have a good butt. I mean, even in my leggings, it still looks awful, so. I'm gonna say <laughs> to you that. I mean, lower your expectations and then think of the worst. That That's all I could say, because it just, it doesn't look good in my opinion. But, um, yeah. I mean, what kind of cosplay would you like to see? If we're talking non-hot cosplay. Because I can't do that. <laughs> uh, I've thought about a fox girl cosplay yeah oh so you're only into hot cosplay okay so like 18 plus kind of stuff because that would make sense where you keep asking to see my butt <laughs> um Usually my cosplays are not really like 18 plus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, um, most of my body is covered when I cosplay. 
because I feel like my body is just so full of imperfections that it's really not worth um, even even if I'm uncomfortable or even if my outfit is really hot and it just doesn't help me breathe correctly I just don't feel at ease to uh, show more of my body but um, soon vampire stuff definitely because I am restore I mean I am gonna DM my first game of like Vampire the Masquerade uh, not even D&D or Pathfinder, just Vampire the Masquerade. So that's a lot of information to take in. I have to buy the book. Um, I already got the notebook. So I'm super glad that I got this. Uh, but definitely soon I want to start doing Vampire makeup um, better this time. Because I can tell you my Monica, my old Monica uh, vampire look was awful I guess it's just nobody would expect um, my character to be a vampire and not only that it's just I wanted to have fun with my character but I couldn't because of my stupid ex dungeon master I mean she was a bitch but come on I'm putting a lot of effort into this fucking character and you're just ruining it um so i'm gonna have players uh, i'm probably gonna do also photo shoots uh with one of them because he really likes um taking pictures and also since he doesn't have a girlfriend anymore he has been pestering me in the last months that he you know wanted to come back to um <laughs> Um, oh Jesus, wait, that bug is huge. Okay, um, not at the moment. Actually, the bathing suit that I have is, yeah, I mean, it is a one piece, but um, it's packed for my weekend. Um, but yeah, oh, photo shoot. Uh, my friend Phil really likes like taking pictures and the best examples that he has of really good pictures is my co uh, cosplays of uh, his ex and me. There, qu there was quite a few pictures that actually were really fucking good. But Monica, my, my old vampire one, uh, was an ex Nazi. Um, but the dungeon master that I was with really wasn't into it. You know, I put not a redeeming arc, but like Monica was stuck in the past and she tried to live um, on with the fact that she had killed people and uh, she has seen so much death that, um, you know, you just can't get over. But, uh,. I put a lot of history into it, I put a lot of information, and my DM refused to work with me. And I don't want to be that kind of dungeon master. If someone arrives with a good idea of their character and wants to do, wants to be implic, um, implicated into, you know, the storyline, or maybe have a twist to it and all that, I want to work with them. Because I don't want my game to be this boring and to be a piece of... <sighs> it, just, it was so bad playing with her and the other ones because we had so many restrictions. But Vampire the Masquerade doesn't have to be about all that. You know? Also, when you create a character... And you make them too badass and then just shove them into each other and be like, go on, introduce yourself. Uh, 
that's not gonna go well. You need your players to have a basis and be like, okay, we're gonna have this familiarity. You know, your character knows mine. Maybe they've seen each other at parties or maybe they've talked to each other. Maybe they're like ex uh, partners for hunting humans or stuff like that. You have, you need to have a connection because otherwise your characters, your players are going to stay in characters and will never talk to each other. And that's what happened with her. Not only that, but apparently the history that I put into my character and the feelings that I had put in there, uh, just wasn't worth it. You know, apparently I went too far. And instead of saying, Alex, I need to understand your character more. She just told me I am close to fucking kicking you off. And in the end, she kind of kicked me off and my friend Phil. He lasted longer, but she kind of fucking kicked him off. And it's like, well, what do you expect? And I've been watching lots of videos to... Um, Get back into cosplays, get back into Vampire the Masquerade, be a better DM to your player. <laughs> um, I've checked, you know, different voices you can actually try and maybe different accents to um, for your character when you role play. I've been checking all of these things in the last days. I really want to be a good DM. I really do. I want my players to have fun you know i know that most of my players will not want to cosplay their characters um because i got my boyfriend i got my brother uh my boyfriend's best friend he's gonna be there and maybe phil so i got like maybe three to two play uh three or four players but i'm also a player but i'm also the dm and for now i you know i'm working towards what will my character look like how will she act you know because obviously I don't want her to be too badass and be inhumane. Mostly she is a Toreador, which means that she has close relationship relationships with humans. Um, so I'm having fun with it, you know, trying to learn and all that. And I definitely cannot wait uh, for next month when I'm going to buy... Uh, the black eyeliner again because I don't have any I only have the blue like I said earlier um you know the red makeup that I want to do big black eyeliner um red lipstick uh the eye color wise um I wanted her eyes to be kind of like golden but that would imply that I would need to rebuy everything for having um, uh, eye contact. God damn it, I can't fucking word anything right. Um, so I'm gonna have to like work on that character. Because technically, you don't need to change your eye color. You don't need to put like these super sharp fangs and all that because they're retractable you don't need to have your character really change eye color or you know alternate their the way that they look so much um because in the end it's just oh you're paler and uh, I mean, you have the characteristic of the clan that you are in. Therefore, Toreador, they are obsessed with arts. And, you know, vanity and all that shit. 
but the more and more effort and time that they pass on themselves you know like a piece of art they'll just they may pass so many so much time on it just to throw it away in a fit of rage and start a new one or you know finding things not perfect and having a meltdown you know i liked this clan because i hate seeing you know dull things um I mean, it's not a diss on my boyfriend because he knows that I like I like colors, I like different patterns, I like different styles. Uh, but he decides to dress in black or gray, and that's just it. It's just plain, and for me, it's just it's hard for me to just be like, oh my god, my boyfriend's so cute, because I mean, he is fucking hot. It's just with colors like this it's just yeah it's bland and i've told him that that it's bland and that you know even his little um blouse that was like uh blue with flamingos on it that's fucking hot and that's like the only fucking pattern that i've seen on him as ridiculous as ridiculous as it sounds that it is what it is but um yeah and different patterns different you know styles but i know that he's he wants to pass you know kind of like under the radar and i understand that but for me who is attracted to colors to um you know, whether it be a pattern on a shirt, or a blouse, or a, you know, I, it's something that is attractive to me. You don't need to just be wearing black, or just like a brand, just t-shirt that doesn't have any, like, logos or anything on it, and just be like, hey. But, um, yeah, I mean, there are guys like that, and that's okay. Because the next time I'm bringing him shopping, I'll buy clothing. But uh, I have plans to um, have him wear, you know, stuff that have that has more colors and different patterns. So I can actually be like, oh my god, that's the shirt that I chose for you. You look so fucking hot in it. Um, you know, he's not the type to wear jewelry either so there's you know nothing that can um nothing shiny that you know can get my attention so i'm just i'm the one dressing up <laughs> uh, most of the time but that's okay because he doesn't have to wear all of these for me to find him you know attractive because his person personality shines through it's just, when I don't wear my glasses when I go shopping, I don't recognize him right away. Because, like, when we go shopping, I'm always wearing something bright. Like my Guretama uh, dress, or maybe my super hot pink Adidas track vest. Because I'm gonna say, hey, I'm wearing this, you'll be able to find me very easily. But last time, it's my brother who told me like hey that's ben i'm like what oh shit it is and then my brother was like how can you not recognize your own boyfriend i'm like how i see a blob of uh, <laughs> blurry shapes <laughs> and colors and that's just that's just it and yeah just a little bit more colors would just do a lot for me um because then i would be like hey if you wear that shirt i'm gonna be able to like spot you what the fuck okay she dropped something jesus christ i mean it was bound to happen anyways um 
the kids. Sometimes they're in rollerblades going up and down the stairs. I, I don't know how they do it. But it is a risk. <laughs> um, so I don't know if Flag of Hate actually left. Because uh, since I told him that my bathing suit is just... Uh, <laughs> packed. <laughs> um, he just... Oh damn, that's too bad. And just... I guess left but hey there there's there's viewers like that that's okay as long as you don't back uh i mean as long as i don't back down because i don't feel comfortable showing my body that way i mean i was gonna say i'm not like alinity but some of the stuff that she does, you know, she's been in a lot of controversials. Uh, scenes, let's just say. Um, you know, there are some girls like that on Twitch, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely not one of those. Um, I mean, it's like the other dude, the other time. Uh, the live stream actually got deleted, uh, but he asked me if I <laughs> if uh, I was on WhatsApp, and to be honest, no, I'm not on WhatsApp because that's not an app that I really need in my fucking life. Um, I don't talk to a lot of people, <laughs> but hey, it's just. Every time I've heard about WhatsApp, it was either on Pornhub or... Oh man, what's that other? This or Snapchat, okay? WhatsApp and Snapchat is like the alternative to talking to people that you've met on like... Three websites, I guess. Um, but yeah. That's my experience of knowing what the fuck is WhatsApp. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go back to my cosplay because, uh, I mean, I really do like cosplays. It's just, I feel like the quality, I know like everyone starts somewhere, but I want to do equality that, you know, shines through i guess i, I want to look good i want to feel good i want to be able to portray my characters correctly so of course um but yeah it's just i'm not really interested in the 18 plus uh, stuff i've walked away from being horny all the time because it's not like if you spend all your day on Pornhub I'm gonna say it is gonna destroy you mentally you can do it for a while maybe months maybe years but when it comes to actually talking to people it's gonna destroy you cuz that's not you know the level of communication is definitely not the same on those platforms and I say that because I have had problems before, um, you know, when you're lonely, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, it's not the same thing, and I'm not one to back down on my dignity just because someone wants to see something. If I say no, or if I just avoid the questions, stop asking. Because in the end, I... I don't want to feel embarrassed for you, but for me. Because I'm like, I'm not comfortable with this shit. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not someone who's gonna be on here uh, wearing um, super deep v-necks with like their boobs up their face almost that's not what i'm what you're gonna see me in and that's not 
what I want to portray. And even if it comes to that, at some point, because I'm like huge and I want views and I want money, I, I think that for me, my value as a person will have decreased. Also, my boyfriend would probably leave me and we got something good there, so... <laughs> I'm not gonna lower myself by... I don't know, I guess like selling out is the way to say it. Um, I don't see myself, you know, maybe shoulders uncovered because it's too hot and I wear like a tank top or something. But you're not gonna see cleavage and you're not gonna see, you know, anything else in my shoulder. That's pretty much it. But even then, today is hot and I'm wearing a Adidas shirt. So, but yeah, like I said, I know from experience that you can pass a lot of time on Pornhub and other sites and then try to interact with the real world of the opposite gender and um, you just come off as a creep uh, at one point. And that's obviously not the way that most people want to come across. They they want they don't want to seem that way, but at the same time, monkey brain is just it is weak. <laughs> it's just you know, I I don't shame women who do like very super hot eighteen plus cosplays because they ha they are good looking. You know, they're good looking and they're fucking hot. That's all I can say. But at the same time, it's not something that I seek out. Like uh, on Facebook, I have quite a few uh, cosplay companies, mostly one that keeps popping up. And half the time they post like very super 18 plus kind of cosplays. And I'm like... I mean, I'm still gonna buy your product one day, but it's like, I'm nowhere near the level of that person. And that's, you know, that's how it is. And, but at the same time, like, it doesn't change uh, the way that the cosplayer should be seen. That's pretty much it. It's just, you know, if you only do that, I just, as a viewer, I wouldn't want to be horny all the time. That, that's just how I'm going to say it. I wouldn't want to be, you know, like that all the time. And in one of my past addiction, I can tell you that it's hard to let go. You know, the instant gra gratification. Oh, yeah, we want to press that button so much, but in the end, it's not worth it. And I just, I value myself more than just, you know, that's just it. I just don't like when people ask to see more of my, my body because I, I feel like even though I'm bad at communication, my words should, my words should mean something and if you can't read that i'm you know not comfortable then it's not i'm sorry that you feel that way because i'm the one who's not comfortable and you're the one you know pushing for it nice dude though until the cosplay thing, because that's just how all that's uh, left into the conversation. Uh, but it's just, I don't feel comfortable when people ask me stuff like that. And I'm just like, hey, maybe in another lifetime, maybe in another, you know. I already got someone, and I'm not going to leave him because of some random dude on the internet gave me attention. But yeah, 
I just I just want to do my thing. I'm here, talk and show my bunnies and just not be harassed <laughs> by creepy dudes. I mean, it's not her uh, harassment. I, I just feel like it's just kind of pushed when I'm just judging the question and laughing because I'm embarrassed and just like, ha ha ha, um, no, like, don't. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Like I said, some viewers don't get it and some viewers do get it. It's okay, because at, at the end of the day, I'm just talking to my phone on an app and my words don't have any more meaning than just someone crazy ranting at their walls. I mean, technically, that's what I was doing before. <laughs> Passed a whole afternoon just ranting to myself because... I needed someone to talk to, but I had no one. But I feel like streaming is a good way to have communications. I mean, some of, oh, by the way, one of my friend actually does a stream and she's very good looking and i feel like even if i try to um match her you know energy and all that she she's working on uh her english which is very great um there's some stuff that i find funny like the way that she pronounced car it sounds like core but <laughs> i it's just you know, it's just like, oh, you're learning, it's cute. But uh, no, it really is. I, I really love her. Um, and the attention that I receive, you know, when I, oh my God, she recognized me again. And she's like, hey, sweetie, how are you? And I'm like, oh, she called me a little nickname. But um, yeah, and uh, I just, I just feel like even if I tried, you know, if I even if I had like a computer with two monitors and all that shit, it just wouldn't change how I see myself and how, you know, viewers would see myself, uh, would see me, sorry. Um, you know, and it's just, that's the way it is. I mean, everybody starts small, and sometimes even big streamers stream from their phones, but I don't know, I guess I just, you know, want better quality, everything, just to look more professional, even though I don't know how to even edit my own videos. Um, yeah, but I know that my situation like will improve um regarding streaming and like this is a more like a hobby um than anything else it's not it's not something that's like professional yet or i mean let's be honest however there was one where his where is it Okay, it's fill of that sand games. I tried, but like the words are all shoved in. Um, the comment that he made was, Hello, uh, keep up the good work, keep grinding, cre keep striving, keep dreaming, keep fighting, keep believing, do great things, and best of luck to you. I hope you make it and change the world. That is an awesome comment. <laughs> I'm gonna say it, it's an awesome comment. But like, yeah. I don't know, it's just, it's fun to have comments like this. And even Flag of Hate, uh, yeah. Uh, he was nice, it was very nice until we got into the hot cosplay stuff, but otherwise, very nice dude 
and um is it rocks of walls <laughs> the rock walls uh was also very cool like cool dude um i'm enjoying actually having viewers uh because i don't communicate with people often so if i can like have a conversation whether it's on the screen or in a call that helps me with my skill like i'm trying my best to improve uh my language skills uh my communication skills and how i uh perceive others uh because it's not about judgment or stuff like that it's if someone tells me something i want to take it seriously you know just like how um you know, in when I'm gonna start my Vampire the Masquerade campaign, I'm gonna have to listen to my players, and some of them might be harsh criticisms, and I shouldn't take it as a bad thing, but at the same time, I'm gonna ask them, what do you want to see? Do you want only vampires? Do you want, you know, supernatural creatures? What else do you want? Because in the end, it's it's me. I'm the game master, and I want I don't want to ruin things. I want my players to have fun. I want them to have an amazing time. I don't want this to become a chore, and you know, for them to be like bye, and then leave me just almost alone you know and like i said it's my first game that i'm ever gonna do this so i want to be good you know and it's just i want to have a good atmosphere i really do i want to be able to do all the stuff that i've planned so far whether it's, you know, a war or uh, mystery people having to do with corruption, stuff like that. Um, the map that I am choosing is actually Quebec City. So the photo shoot will make sense. And for battles, uh, Les Plaines d'Abraham is too vast. It is big for like huge battles if you want to but in the end even up to the late hours of the day or early hours of the day sorry um usually there are still like people walking there so i can't i mean i could just be like hey there's no one at night in this park when it's it's not true it's not true um how it's just like a minor detail it's just you know me being like well it's just impossible i would want a more enclosed space so i'm uh, looking for parks one of them is um le domaine maisere which is a very nice place and i kind of want to go back there because they have some cool stuff honestly they do and uh I, for me, it's vast enough to have battles, but not big enough for a human to see, you know, the battle and be like, oh, those are vampires, you know, and then it would just unveil the masquerade and then the Camarilla would have to, uh, take care of the vampires but then again it's like it's our character we don't want that but um i'm having fun rediscovering this because my friends didn't talk to me or the other players much about it uh she described it to me you know what it thought it was so i you know i had the information in but uh it turns out that there's quite a few uh like, there is a community of, 
um, players and people who enjoy, you know, books, games and all that um, on YouTube. And I've been able to learn more about the clan that I want to be in. Uh, I've got some lore that I haven't had before. And one thing that my friend used to do is just don't question anything. And I'm like, but I need to know, bitch. I need to know. If your player asks a question, you should be able to answer. Unless it's like, I'm going to need you to roll for it. Um, other than that, if they ask you a piece of lore that they need to know, you shouldn't just leave them in the dark. Because then it's just, what are you doing? Lydia, fuck, I didn't want to say his name. Uh, her name. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, like I said, I don't, don't know how to edit. Anyways, um, well, it's not a big secret. She's not my friend anymore, so... I can say it, she was a bad DM. She did not listen to her players and she did not talk to her full set of players. She only talked to Phil and Alexia about kicking me out. And that is something that I will not do as a fucking DM. If I want to kick someone or if it comes to that, I want to know what the player has in mind. What is he trying to accomplish? I, I'm not against my players because I will play with them at the same time. I know a DM shouldn't play at the same time, but I want a character. So I'm going to do a character. Um, but here's the thing. My character and the DM, two complete separate things. My character will not say information unless I say that she does. But, like I said, she's not going to be a big giveaway of like, Hey, what are we doing? It's literally going to be two separate things. Because I'm going to be a DM. Dungeon Master. So I have to not only think about all of the combat stuff, all the stats, and all the fucking... Like, my, the stats of every fucking players. So I'm just starting, like, with four, three. Wait. Boyfriend, brother, best friend, three. Um, the other one, it's not sure if he's coming or not. So, uh, but yeah, I, I want to be a good DM. I don't want to fuck up. Like, oh, I had a viewer for, like, two seconds. And then, bye. Um... But yeah, I don't want to be a bad DM and just make everyone's time awful. Because, let's be honest, when you start with new people, or you, I mean, I've, I'm already in a campaign, a Star Wars campaign, with uh, a few of those other players. And when I talk to my boyfriend, I'm like, I really want to get back into Vampire Masquerade, but this time I want to do it right, and I'm going to be the one doing it and he said okay uh will i be able to join and you know and then he talks about it to his best friend and then his best friend is like i want to join it's a new campaign i want to join <laughs> so i'm actually pretty glad because i said okay well if he really wants to join have him text me so then he does, and he said, I choose adventure. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> but um, no, I'm, I'm really glad. Like, I got players, and I want to impress them. I want them happy. I want them to fucking be happy. It, it's hard, because... My experience with my previous DM, which I've said her name earlier, and I'm sorry about it if she ever watches this, but um, she just 
didn't give us a lot of back lore she didn't give us a lot of um she didn't answer a lot of our questions because she's not you know very open to answering questions anyways um she she just didn't seem like the type of person that we could ask every question you know until she was just okay no more <laughs> i've had enough uh it's just when it came to you know just having characters and stuff like that we're like is this okay you know she's she's It's just, it's mean, because, you know, your players are working on something that they really value, and that's okay, like, nobody fucking died, by the way, we did roleplay more than anything else, because we never got to, um, doing the tabletop version, or anything like that, or a full session where we are at, you know, one of our players' place, and we just, you know, relax or play on the table and all that. So it's just, I don't want to be like her as a DM. She was not open to questions. She was not putting us, you know, very into characters. And she was not, she's just at the edge of just kicking everyone else out. And that's not how a DM should work. Don't start a campaign if you're not feeling well, mentally. I'm going to say that to you because she's done this and a few other things. And after kicking Phil, she just stopped talking to him. And at this point, it's just like, okay, well, you're not feeling well. But you're not talking to anybody. You're not seeking help. And you know, you know, I've been down that hole before. But if people count on me, I would just have to tell them straight up that I just don't feel like continuing the campaign. That we put it on stop. And all that. That's just okay. But Lydia, I guess that she felt that our energy of me, Phil, and the others was way too much for her to handle. That's okay. It's just, you know us. You've known us. Why are you acting surprised? And it's, there's so much things that were wrong with how she DM'd. And I wish to not be like her. I wish to be a very good DM. So that's why I've been looking at this. Uh, I'm working on my character, which is going to be named Florence Vitale, uh, Italian girl, which I may have to relearn Italian, uh, or maybe just, you know, a few words. Uh, I don't know how to do an Italian accent, so I guess that's just, you know, how it is. Um, we can hear in the background, I know. I'm going to end this soon, by the way. <laughs> Um, they're not supposed to play in the stairs or the hallway, but they do. Uh, of course, no parents is there to tell them. And I'm just some random chick. Adult. If I tell them that, the parents are going to come after me. So I'm not going to play that game. But, um, yeah. It's just know the energy that um you're gonna bring and by the way yes monica was a very hard character to get to know because of her past but as dm you should be able to work with that ca uh, with that player and find an ultimatum you know compromise do something to make the character you know be able to work with the other players and yourself so your life is not gonna be more but um yeah well uh florence uh i've watched a dude uh make 
uh, quite a few videos about Vampire the Masquerade, and that's the name he kept repeating, that his character was named, and then it just got stuck in my head. So that's how the my character is named. Uh, she's an Italian girl. I don't know if I'm gonna make her look more um, Italian or completely like goth vampire type of shit. I guess I'll find an ultimatum or an in the middle. Uh, however, she is someone who's very artistic, so even if her makeup changes, clothing should all still be in a very similar style. Of course, I'm not gonna get, you know, clothing from Italy or a style, um, but if she is into fashion, oh god, I hope she's not like me, which is being a mess because you got so many different styles that you want to work with, but hey, you just don't have the budget for it. Um, yeah, it, it sucks, but yeah. Um... They've brought a bike. I can hear the wheels going up and down. Oh my god. Anyways. Um, yeah, I want to be able to do, you know, makeup again. Either, you know, makeup styles. Either if... Okay, because I w wanted to buy a primer foundation and setting powder, uh, which is whiter um, than probably my skin is. However... Uh, I am playing a vampire. Uh, I think of buying a new wig for that one. I'm not sure yet. Either I'll just dye my hair to give the uh, impression of ooh, Italian girl. Cause, like I said, you don't need a lot. You don't even need to do like photo shoot and all that shit for your cosplay. Uh, you don't need to like alter much of your appearance in that sense, but you can, and I want to have you know the freedom to do so uh, better this time. Uh, yeah, I want to dress up and do stuff again. The problem is if I do live streams at the same time, like putting eyeliner and stuff, my eyeliner is gonna look terrible. I'm just gonna say it because I cannot focus on two things at the same time. Um, yeah, uh, there's makeup that I need to buy because I want to put foundation on. I want to try different types of makeup. Maybe, you know, it more goth or just um, natural but still there. Cause there's a lot of scars on my face and I just I don't want to see that you know the redness my cheeks and all that I don't want to see this I just don't find it beautiful if I could just temporarily just you know it would be good um, Next month is my birthday, so we're gonna have, um... Good girl. Okay, well, cutie is live, <laughs> my friend. Um, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, essentially, next month we're buying the, uh, book. The big book. 60 bucks. 68 bucks, technically. Um, worth of it. Uh, um, for the DM screen, I'm gonna have to pre-order it. Uh, makeup, because Sephora will, ha uh, they have my birthday in my account, so I'm gonna have some free stuff. Uh, that's so much. Okay, last time I did this, I actually discovered the Sol de Janeiro, um, product, and I am in love with them ever since. I wear the Coco Cabana um, hair and body mist every day, my dude. Every day. Uh, creams and stuff. Awesome. Uh, but yeah. Um, 
I find that some of the makeup looks that I've done in the past, uh, even if they were good, um, I just didn't try enough, I guess. Uh, I wanna really put some outfits together and all that. I wanna work with what I have before buying new clothing, especially, especially for my vampire. Because I already have a dress that could work. I already have, I think, a many dress that would work. Um, if I want to do a more, maybe, aesthetic uh, summer girl, which is it's one of the things that I have, like, as an idea, of my character but the problem is are we doing this before she turned into a vampire or after is she still the same because in a sense i do want her to be like this but be a badass either way or do we wait because i don't know like I i'm still in this starting point of this whole thing um I'm really loving learning more about the vampires. Uh, it's a world that I wanted to go back into for a long time. And I can finally go back in. So yeah. Um, I want to do more beautiful makeup. Uh, I know how to do makeup most generally. It's just I just do sometimes some random stuff. Just like some uh, more pink uh, eyeshadow with the uh, bright royal blue and just the uh, non uh, kiss proof uh, lipstick because I can talk for hours and it doesn't get on my teeth. Um, but yeah, it's just a simple look. Uh, doesn't take long, like 20 minutes. However, I want to do my sunset look again i want to explore the uh jojo uh maybe we could do like makeup styles or makeup uh look maybe some more anime style uh eye makeup um look stuff like that because i really think like one of my best features is my eyes so when i put on you know eyeliner and stuff like that i feel like i can look at myself and not do the um no eye contact thing because yeah i'm not able to keep eye contact for long but because i see all my flaws i see them some people might not, but I do. Uh, but yeah, since we are uh, hearing the kids and I've been streaming for so many hours, oh, so that's gonna take forever to upload on YouTube. But yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the stream of the day, and I haven't been there since last um, the week before last week. Um, stuff happened, you know. That's okay. I'm back. Um, Bunnies are fine, just they would like to sleep because it is still their uh, sleeping time. Ah, that's my dad. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna say goodbye. Uh, Hi, Mochi, and this was my stream. <laughs> I'm really still bad at this, but uh, okay, okay, okay. Bye.